Good evening, DJ. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, hello everyone. We are here again. Estamos aquí de nuevo un día más. How are you feeling today? Hey, great, great, great teacher. Nice. How was your day? Uh, it was awful, very, was complicated in my job, but I am here. I am very oh. happy because I take the class the English. Oh, that's nice. This will be some kind of relaxing time. Un poco de, All right. okay. de, de tiempo para relajarse un poquito, ¿verdad? Yes, of course. Okay, we are going to uh, wait a little bit. Vamos a esperar un poquito porque los demás, no sé qué les ha pasado, no se han conectado. Vamos a esperar un momento para empezar con todo lo que tenemos para hoy. Ok, antes de comenzar, eh, recordarles siempre, ¿verdad? Esto siempre va a ser un recordatorio para todos. Yo sé que la mayoría ya están trabajando en la plataforma y van bastante avanzados. Y eso es algo bastante bueno, de que hayan avanzado, de que hayan adelantado, ¿verdad? Algunas eh, lecciones. Los que no han comenzado con la plataforma, los que no han eh, hecho ninguno de los ejercicios y hay alguien que no ha podido entrar, eh, ya sea por algún problema que no saben cómo accesar a la plataforma o la plataforma les ha estado dando problema o los ejercicios le han estado dando problema, no dude en comunicarse, ¿verdad? En mandar mensajes y decir, estoy teniendo problemas con la plataforma. Más adelante eh, vamos a ir, ¿verdad? Viendo esos problemas. Si hay alguien que tiene problemas para accesar, diga, yo tengo problemas para accesar y necesito ayuda, porque nosotros le vamos a ayudar con, con eso, ¿verdad? Eh, si se fijan, ahí en el grupo a veces se publica, tengo problemas con este ejercicio, tengo problemas con esta sección, y se está haciendo todo lo posible por apoyarles, ¿verdad? Cuando se, se tiene algún tipo de error en, el, en la respuesta, y ahí estamos tratando de ayudar para que todos vayan bien en la plataforma. Ya hay muchos que ya van bien avanzados, ¿verdad? Que ya van casi terminando el trabajo de la plataforma, and that's great, it's amazing. Así que repetirles, si tienen problemas con la plataforma, no duden en enviar mensajes, pero tienen que trabajar en la plataforma. Recuerden que es requisito, ¿verdad? Que por lo menos al final del curso hayan pasado el 80%, ¿verdad? De las evaluaciones de la plataforma. Si no, pues lamentablemente no se podrá hacer mucho, ¿verdad? Pero los que no han comenzado a trabajar en la plataforma tienen tiempo para ponerse al día. Ok, nice. Today we are going to uh, talk about vacations. We are going to talk about uh, questions with was and where. And we are going to talk about um, neighbors, vocabulary. Vamos a hablar de diferentes temas hoy. Vamos a ver otra vez lo de how was your vacation, que fue lo último que vimos ayer. 
we are going to um, talk about our special vacation places, los lugares que nos gustaría visitar, lugares especiales para las vacaciones. Then we are going to make a review of the question with was and where. Vamos a hacer un pequeño review de preguntas con was y where, how to answer them. Then we are going to have an exercise about question with was and where. Then we are going to learn some vocabulary. Después de ver lo de las vacaciones, vamos a hablar un poco de nuevo, porque ya lo vimos ayer, de las preguntas con was y where. Cómo se hacen las preguntas, qué tipo de respuestas podemos dar, qué tipo de preguntas también se pueden hacer. Just with, with was and where, or using WH question words. Then we are going to, vamos a ver un poco de vocabulario sobre neighbors, ¿verdad? Sobre la ciudad, palabras que vamos a utilizar para describir la ciudad. But first, the attendance list. Vamos con la eh, lista, ¿verdad? Today is the first thing. Daniel Canizales. Hi, teacher. Hello. Miguel Gil. Present teacher. Jose Vela. Here, teacher. Carlos Cruz. Melissa Alfaro. Present teacher. Carlos Arriza. Present teacher. Orlando López. Armando Leiva. Present teacher. Verónica. Genaro Ramos. Present teacher. Miguel Guardado. Present teacher. Maybelline Jaimes. Present. Luis Cotes. Present teacher. Rosemary Ramírez. Mario Arevalo. Present teacher. Giselle Campos. Present teacher. Mónica Patriz. Present teacher. Maribel Pineda. Marvel Pineda. Present teacher. Está lloviendo por aquí. Oh, really? Espero que no, no vayamos a tener problemas de señal por la lluvia. I hope so. Raquel Meléndez. Present. Catherine Maldonado. Present. Uri Ventura. Present. Daniel Palacios. Stephanie Herrera. Present. Norberto Elías. Tatiana Hernández. And, and Natalia Sánchez. Present. Okay, nice. <clears throat> Now we are going to make the review. Let me share this one. Okay, here we have. This is the conversation that we were uh, talking yesterday. We were reading it. Esa es la conversación que estuvimos uh, leyendo ayer, ¿verdad? How was your vacation? Two people talking about their vacations. Dos personas hablando de sus vacaciones. We know that one of them goes to Hawaii. Uno de ellos fue a Hawaii. The other one stays in home. El otro se quedó en casa. O oh, no sabemos exactamente, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Qué estuvo haciendo? Porque estuvieron hablando más que todo de Hawaii. Now, we are going to think. Vamos a pensar. We are going to think 
a place that we really like. Un lugar que realmente nos gusta, un lugar que nosotros podemos decir, it's my favorite place in the world. Es mi lugar favorito. Maybe we are just thinking about that place. Maybe we are, um, we learn something about that place. Maybe we have read something about the, that place. Or maybe we have um, make a trip to that place before. Vamos a pensar en un lugar que realmente nos gusta. Puede ser, hello? Hello, yes. Okay. Um, puede ser un lugar que hayamos visitado antes o un lugar que no hayamos visitado, pero que nos gusta mucho, que hayamos visto algo sobre ese lugar, que hayamos leído algo sobre ese lugar um, o que hemos hecho una pequeña investigación sobre ese lugar. Puede que no sea dentro de nuestro país, puede que sea en cualquier parte del mundo. We are going to think about that place. Then we are going to share the name of the place, the name of the country, the name of the beach, the name of the city. And we are going to say, why is that the place that we really like? Vamos a pensar en el lugar. Luego vamos a decir qué lugar es y por qué nos gusta ese lugar. Vamos a compartir un poco de lugares, ciudades, playas, eh, algún eh, pueblito, ¿verdad? Que nos guste mucho. Think about it. And then we are going to talk about the places. I will give you some minutes to think. To share the information, we can say, for example, I really like um, Machu Picchu, that place. I really like Machu Picchu because I think it is a really magical place. Podemos decir, eh, el lugar que a mí me gusta es, y decimos el nombre del lugar, because I think, porque creo que tiene estas características, eh, puedo encontrar este tipo de actividades o porque me gusta, porque es un lugar colorido, un lugar donde vivieron tal vez eh, mis abuelos, etcétera, etcétera. We can some information about the place. Now, I think we are ready. Who wants to be the first person talking about the place? ¿Quién quiere ser el primero en hablarnos sobre el lugar que escogió? Okay, me teacher. Tell me, Orlando. Okay, I really like uh, to New York City. I went to New York City uh, two years ago. Uh, I love, I love the place and we have a great time. And I, li I like to, to walk on the street, uh, the, park, the Central Park. Oh, nice. Great. I think it was a really amazing trip. Yes, yes. Very, very. That's very nice. nice. Okay, nice. Can you help me choosing one person? Me? Yes. Uh, I don't know. No here, or I don't know. Mm, I can hear you. Tell me. Other person? I, I didn't hear your voice. I don't know who to choose. Okay. Okay. I choose other person. Tell me. Okay. Um, Tatiana. 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 Hello. Hello. 
Can you uh, tell about the place that you really like? Yes. Tell me. Um, I went to Otila last year for my birthday. I went scuba diving. After, after that, I went down the most beautiful pool to Otila, Dr. John House. Oh, wow, nice. Nice, nice. Thank you. Can you please help me choosing another person to talk about the places? Okay, uh, Maybelline. Maybelline? Yes. Tell me. Uh, my, my favorite place is in the USA, in Las Vegas, because, because it's beautiful and very fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, nice. Uh, Raquel, okay. I guess it is something that we can uh, work with. Uh, she said that she has some problems with the internet because of the rain. If you have some problems with the internet or the connection, you just send a message telling that you have problems with the connection. That's okay. Eh, son cosas que no podemos nosotros ¿verdad? manejar porque son cosas naturales, ¿verdad? Si hay problemas con la el internet por la lluvia o alguna de las otras cosas, ustedes solo avisen y that's okay. Okay. Maybelline, help me choosing another person. Roxana Melissa. Roxana. Hi, teacher. Hello, tell me. Um, I visited Conchagua in La Unión. Uh, the Mirador Espíritu de la Montaña. It is a beautiful place because it's in front of the Golfo de, de Ponceca. Mm -hmm. I can camp in and see the sunset. And oh, wow. really, really uh, is a beautiful place. All right. That's something really interesting a connection with nature, right? Roxana, help me with another person to talk about the place. Um, Miguel Angel. Miguel, Miguel Angel. Hello. Hello, tell me. Hello. Uh, I visit, I visited uh, Costa Rica uh, in March uh, 2019. Mm -hmm. uh, I love uh, that in class very clean. Okay. Uh, a word that, no sé si se dice boscoso. Uh. Mm -hmm. Water. Uh huh. Yes. Uh. That's okay. Thank you. Choose one person. Okay. Uh, Stephanie Lisset. Stephanie. See. Sí. Stephanie. And I really like the Empire State because I think it has beautiful views of the buildings. Okay, nice. Um, wait, wait. Miguel Alexander, you, what's happening? Uh, okay, yes, of course, tell me. Okay, uh, my favorite place is New York because I think that New York is a place with a lot of culture. Okay, nice, amazing. Miguel, who is the next person? Maybelline. Okay, Maybelline. Yeah, yeah, ah, ella ya lo dijo. <laughs> yes, of course, she already said. Another okay. one? Carlos Arriaza. Carlos. Hi, teacher. 
Hello. Uh, I like Santana Volcano because it's a natural place. Uh, it is a difficult place to get to. It's a really nice place. You can see the crater and the Cuatepeque Lake too. Yes, of course. That's amazing. Thank you, Carlos. Who is the next person? Um, Giselle. Giselle. I really like the beach. Consta del Sol. I like to go with my family. The place is beautiful. And I really like the waves. Oh, nice. Nice. Amazing. Next one. Giselle? Um, Mario. Mario? Yes. Tell me your place. Okay. Te voy a decir cortito. Okay, nice. My, my favorite place is Canada for his cold climate. It's oh. place very good. Okay, that's nice. The the weather is okay. The cold weather. Not like El Salvador that is really hot. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay, nice. <laughs> Next one. Eh, quiero ver, no me aparecen todos, pero quiero ver quién me aparece. Maribel Pineda. Maribel. No, Marvel Pineda. <laughs> oh, Marvel. We have two people with the same uh, last name. That's okay. <laughs> Tenemos dos con el mismo apellido, así que cualquiera de los dos está bien. Marvel. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Tell me. Uh, no sé mucho porque me acabo de conectar de nuevo, pero tal vez algo se parece. Okay. <laughs> uh, I visit the Mahawal Beach y in the city of Suchitoto. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, thank you. Nice. We are talking about places that we really like. There are a lot of um, options. Tenemos muchas opciones alrededor del mundo, not just in El Salvador. No solo aquí en nuestro país. We can go to the beach, we can go to the mountain, we can go to the forest, we can go to the city a lot of places to visit around the world. Nosotros tenemos muchas opciones, ¿verdad? Tanto en nuestro país como fuera de este para poder visitar, ya sea eh, bosques, ya sea playas, ya sean ciudades, pueblos, eh, pueden ser edificaciones, ¿verdad? Eh, y ese tipo de cosas. That's a lot of things. Now, we are going to the next topic. Questions with was and where? Question with was and where. Let's see the structure. Let me take this to this side. Okay. A structure. Interrogative sentence to be plus subject plus question mark. We have some examples. Was she a doctor? Were the keys in the drawer? Was I a nurse? Were they learning English? Were we eating there? In the structure, we have the verb to be in past. Tenemos primero, ¿verdad? En nuestra eh, estructura, lo que es el verbo be en pasado, al inicio, así como hablábamos ayer, ¿verdad? Aquí se cambia la posición de lo que es el verbo al inicio de nuestra pregunta, al inicio de nuestra oración para hacerla de forma interrogativa. Then we have the subject. Después del verbo, inmediatamente del verbo, nosotros tenemos el sujeto. Then the complement and the question mark. The question mark, if you can see, is just one in English. But in Spanish, we have two, open and closed. En inglés, nosotros solo tenemos una, eh, 
a uh, un signo de interrogación, ¿verdad? En cambio en español nosotros tenemos dos, pero en inglés solo es uno. Así que la estructura es verbo to be en pasado, el subject, luego el complemento que le queremos agregar a nuestra oración y la question mark, que nunca se nos olvide, ¿verdad? Hay que ser bien cuidadosos con los signos. Let me see. Mario says uh, his favorite place is Canada for its cold climate. It's a very good place. Thank you, Mario. Ok, entonces, tenemos esta estructura, no nos, puede, no nos perdemos ahí, ¿verdad? El verbo to be al inicio, luego el subject, luego el complemento. Let's see this one. Was, were, to be, past tense. Then we have the pronouns. Tenemos los pronombres. Los pronombres nosotros, ¿verdad?, ya lo sabemos, estamos acostumbrados, ¿verdad? A los pronombres. Es, we have I, he, she, it, we, you, and they. Then we have the, um, the verb in past. En los usos, ayer decíamos, ¿verdad? Los usos que se le dan a cada uno de los verbos en pasado. We have two types, was and were. And we use them in uh, a specific pronouns. I was, he was, she was, it was. Then we were, you were, and they were. Ahí nosotros ya tenemos nuestra división, ¿verdad? De cuándo vamos a utilizar el was y cuándo vamos a utilizar el were. Ayer decíamos que lo utilizábamos el was con los singulares. Con los singulares menos con you. Ese siempre es una excepción, ¿verdad? Ese siempre se va a utilizar con el where, ya que lo tenemos también en plural. And our sentences said, I was happy. I was happy. Fui o estuve feliz. He was hungry. He was hungry. Estuvo hambriento. She was a nurse. Ella fue una enfermera. It was big. Fue muy grande. Aquí nos referimos a una cosa o algún animal. We were early. Llegamos temprano, estuvimos temprano. You were at school. Estuviste en la escuela. They were quiet. Ellos estuvieron tranquilos o callados. Next, we have was, were to be, past tense. This is um, negative. The first one was positive. Now we have negative. I wasn't sad. He wasn't thirsty. She wasn't a teacher. It wasn't small. We weren't late. You weren't at home. They weren't noisy. Aquí obviamente solo estamos agregando el not. We have um, wasn't is was not. In this case, we are going to use the one we feel better with. Vamos a utilizar el que mejor nos siente a nosotros, ¿verdad? Con el que mejor nos sintamos. ¿Podemos utilizarlo contractado? Claro que sí. ¿Podemos utilizarlo normal? Por supuesto que sí. Está bien. Siempre y cuando, ¿verdad? Tengamos el cuidado de los apóstrofes. Then we have were, weren't and were not. El, el contrastado es como para que nosotros digamos, ah, no sale mucho más fácil escribirlo. Pero lo podemos utilizar de cualquiera de las dos formas, ¿verdad? El wasn't o el was not, el weren't o el were not. Cualquiera de las dos formas está bien para hacer nuestras oraciones. We have there the sentence. I wasn't sad. No estuve, no, no estuve triste, ¿verdad? He wasn't thirsty. No estuvo sediento. She wasn't a teacher. Ella no fue una maestra. It wasn't small. No fue pequeño. We weren't late. No llegamos tarde o no estuvimos tarde. You weren't at home. No estuvimos en casa. They were noisy. No fueron ruidosos. Then we have the question, the questions, interrogative sentence. We have there the affirmative sentence and the question. If you can see the change. Tenemos las mismas oraciones. They were happy. But then we have, were they happy? The same sentence with some changes. 
Solo le hicimos algunos cambios a nuestra oración. They were and were they. Que era lo que estábamos viendo, ¿verdad? Que nosotros solo le cambiamos lo que es la posición, ¿verdad? Del verbo con el sujeto. Y ahí podemos ver nuestra flecha, ¿verdad? Que nos están marcando a qué lugares se movieron. Y obviamente le agregamos nuestra question mark. Pero de ahí no hay ningún otro cambio eh, extraordinario en nuestras oraciones. Just the place of the verb and the subject. Then we have the short answers. When we use affirmative questions, we can say yes, they were, yes, she was, yes, I was, yes, uh, you were. Then in negative, we have no, they weren't, no, uh, he wasn't, no, I wasn't. In these um, answers, you need to um, focus on the comma. En las respuestas, si ustedes se fijan, después de yes, tenemos una coma. Esa coma siempre la vamos a poner ahí. Si se fijan, creo que a muchos les pasaba en la plataforma o a algunos les pasó en la plataforma que cuando escribían las respuestas no les salía como, como buena, ¿verdad? Como correcta. Porque no se le estaba poniendo la coma después del yes, después del no. Ahí siempre vamos a poner una coma en nuestras respuestas para que nos valide, ¿verdad? Siempre le vamos a poner lo que es una coma a las respuestas. Yes, coma, they were, no, coma, they weren't. Siempre le vamos a poner la coma para las respuestas cortas. Estas son respuestas cortas, nada de agregar más información. Solo es sí, no, y eso es todo. Por eso son short answers, porque son respuestas cortas con información, con poca información, ¿verdad? Then we have WH words. What are the WH words? Well, WH words are those words that we use to make questions. Las WH words son aquellas palabras que nosotros utilizamos para hacer preguntas. What, where, why, when, who, and how. Esas son nuestras WH words, las palabras que nosotros utilizamos al inicio de las preguntas en inglés. Por eso se le llama WH questions, por eso se le llaman las preguntas con doble V y H, ¿verdad? Porque la mayoría de ellas tiene doble V y H al inicio de las preguntas. We have different kind of questions. Cuando utilizamos was y where, nuestras respuestas son en la, en la mayoría de los casos corta, ¿verdad? Respuestas cortas. Pero aquí, cuando estamos utilizando las WH questions, cuando estamos utilizando estas palabras, ¿verdad? Este tipo de preguntas, vamos a dar una respuesta un poquito más larga, ¿verdad? Porque nos está preguntando qué, por qué, cuándo, cómo, ¿verdad? We have WH word, where, why, and when, plus was and where, plus the subject. Where, was, when, Where, why, was. Esas son nuestras preguntas. Then we have the examples. Why was he angry? Why was he angry? ¿Por qué estaba molesto? Entonces, en ese tipo de preguntas nosotros podemos dar un poco más de información. He was angry uh, because he was thinking about buying some uh, books, but he has no money. ¿Por qué él estaba enojado? Porque estaba pensando comprar algunos libros, pero no tenía dinero. Where were you yesterday? Where were you yesterday? ¿Dónde estuviste ayer? I, I was in my house. I was in my house. Estuve en mi casa. Next one. When was she nervous? When was she nervous? ¿Cuándo estuvo nerviosa? ¿Cuándo se puso nerviosa? Oh, she was nervous yesterday because she has a phone call. Ella estaba nerviosa porque tenía una llamada telefónica. Who were those people? Who were those people? ¿Quiénes eran esas personas? Oh, they were my classmates. Ellos eran mis compañeros. Cuando utilizamos las WH questions, vamos a dar respuestas un poco más largas. Cuando solo utilicemos el was y el were para hacer nuestras preguntas son short answers, ¿verdad? Tenemos dos tipos de preguntas, unas con respuestas cortas, otra con respuestas un poco más largas, pero tampoco tan producidas. Let's see. Let's 
let's take some exercise. We are going to make some exercise. But in this case, it's not um, writing exercise, it's just a uh, talking exercise. We are going to speak and we are going to listen. Vamos a escuchar y al mismo tiempo vamos a producir nuestras respuestas. I have some questions here. I have some questions for you. And you will choose your question, but you don't know what is your question. Ustedes van a elegir su pregunta, pero sin saber exactamente cuál es su pregunta. Why? Because you are going to choose a number. Ustedes van a escoger un número. A number. And then I will read the question. Voy a leer la pregunta. Then you are going to answer. If it's a question with was and where, remember, question with was and where, short answers. Question with WH words, long answers. Recuerden, si la pregunta empieza con where y con was, son respuestas cortas. Si la pregunta comienza con WH words, va a ser una respuesta un poco más larga. Here we are going to give answers without thinking about our life. Aquí no vamos a meter nuestra vida en general, sino que solo vamos a hacer el ejercicio de contestar este tipo de preguntas. There are a lot of questions and we are going to uh, answer them with some kind of information. Let's see who will be the first person. Let me see, let me see, let me see. I will begin with, let me see, Carlos Cruz. Hello. A number for one to 22. Four. Number four. Okay, number four. Were you born in another city? Were you born in another city? Four or four? Repeat the members. I can hear you very well. Tell me. Uh, please. Okay. Uh, is Israeli. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I will repeat it, the question. Were you born in another please. city? Yes, yes. Uh, I was. Ah, okay. Yes, I was. Nice. Good. Thank you. Next one. Let me see. Veronica. Miguel, that's okay. Maybe it's because of rain or something else. Don't worry. No se preocupe, ¿verdad? Si lo saca de la clase por algún problema técnico, that's okay. Ustedes solo avisen y we are going to be okay. Veronica is not here. I guess she is not. Rosemary. Rosemary. No? Okay. Melissa. Hi, teacher. Hello. Give me a number for one, two, twenty-two. Uh, twenty. Twenty. Was the lesson too difficult? Was the lesson too difficult? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. It is. Okay. Yes, yes it was. It, that's it okay. Was. Exactly. Yes, it was. Thank you. Next one, Marvel. Yeah. 
Diga. A number for 1 to 22. Un número del 1 al 22. Uh, el 1. 1. Ok. Were you late for class today? Were you late for class today? Were you late for class late. today? Were you late for class today? Um, no entiendo. Que si llegaron, llegó tarde a clases hoy. Were you late? Late tarde. No, were you late? In this case, when uh, I am asking you, mm -hmm. uh, in the answer, you will say I. Cuando se le pregunta a ustedes, por ejemplo, si yo digo, You, utilizando el, el pronombre you para las respuestas, como yo estoy, o sea, me están preguntando sobre mí, para responder, a, yo voy a decir I, I, voy a utilizar el pronombre yo, ¿ok? No, I wasn't, no, I wasn't, no, no llegué tarde, no estuve tarde, ¿ok? Ok. Thank you. Next one. Let me see. Daniel Canizales. Si es positiva, teacher. Si es positiva, va. Tiene en que el ser, caso... yes, I was. Oh, no, I was. I was, yes. Okay. En positiva, sí, no le van a poner el, el not, sino que ahí solo uh -huh. le van a dejar hasta was. Uh -huh. Yes, I was. I was. Uh -huh. Ok. Very good. Ok. Daniel. Yes, teacher, I'm ready. Number for 1 to 22. Uh, number two, teacher. Number two, okay. Were you tired this morning? Were you tired this morning? Uh, no, I, no, I wasn't, teacher. Oh, that's good. That's good. Amazing. Let me see. Mario. Give yes, me a teacher. number. Give me a number from 1 to 22. Three. Three. Okay. Were you hungry this morning? Were you hungry this morning? No entendí, teacher. Were you hungry? Hungry? This morning, uh -huh. hungry, hungry. Yes, I, I was. Okay, que si estaba hambriento esta mañana. Sí. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. Maybelline. Yes, teacher. A number for one to 22. Mm, number five. Number five, let's see. Were you a good elementary school student? Were you yes, a I good? Was. Ah, okay. Yes, you were. <laughs> you were. Okay, 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 okay. Let me see. That's okay, Uri. That's okay. Okay, thank you, Maybelline. Let me see. Luis. Luis, are you there? Yes. Yes, okay. Give me a number for one to 22. Uh, five. Five. Were you a good elementary school student? Can you hear me? Uh, can you repeat it, please? Were you a good elementary school student? Yes, I was. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Daniel Palacios. Daniel. Uh, 
Ok. Carlos Cruz. Oh, but I, I did ask you. That's okay. Hello. <laughs> Don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Natalia. Number six. Uh, number six. Okay. Let me let yeah. me ask you. Where were you at seven o'clock last night? Where were you at seven o'clock last night? Uh, I was in my house. Okay, uh, nice. It is diner. Okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> Natalia Sanchez. Good evening. Good evening. Tell me a number for one to twenty-two. Six. Six. Again, where were you at seven o'clock last night? No, I was. And in this question, you have to give a long answer. Where? Donde? Estuvo anoche a las siete, dice. My house. Ah, okay. You were in your house. Okay. Thank you. Now, let's see. Someone that wants to answer a question. Alguien que quiera contestar una pregunta antes de pasar a lo, a lo demás. Me teacher. Me teacher. Okay. Yeah. We are going first with uh, Jose, I guess, then with Orlando, and then with Miguel. Jose, tell me a number. Uh, number five. Number five. Were you a good elementary school student? Uh, Repeat uh, again, please. Were, were you a good elementary school student? Were you a good elementary school student? No le entiendo la primera palabra. Dice. Were you? Que si fue usted. Ah, uh, where. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Were you? Uh -huh. A good uh, elementary school student? Uh, well, uh, yes, I'm, I was a good, good student. Okay, uh, thank you. You were a good student. Okay. Thank you. Orlando, number? 22. 22. Let's see. Let me see. Were they going to eat before leaving? This is a, a question, a, a different question. Were they going to eat before leaving? Uh, no, I, I wasn't, I wasn't. Okay. Okay, okay, thank you. Next one is Miguel, I guess. Yes. yes. Okay. Give me a number. A number for one, two, 22. One. One. Yes. Okay. Were you late for class today? Were you late for class today? Yes, I was. <laughs> oh my God, mm, you were late. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, we are going to watch a video about past of B and answer the question that are at the end of the video. So let's go to the platform and watch the video.
Okay, here we have the video. Let me, this is not this one. Okay. In this session, participants will study the past of B. Questions and short answers will be taught. Hello, nice to have you back. I'll make reference of the past of the verb B. Let's start. Past of B. Were you in Hawaii? Yes, I was. Was the weather okay? No, it wasn't. Were you and your cousin on vacation? Yes, we were. Were your parents there? No, they weren't. How long were you away? I was away for a week. How was your vacation? It was excellent. Contractions Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. The past of be, am, um, and is, was, are, were. To ask questions using the past of be, we do it this way. Was, were, plus subject, plus complement, plus question mark. Were you my student? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was she sad? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Were they late? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Remember, we used be to express feelings, conditions, estates, and descriptions, either in present or past. Now you try answering the following questions. Were you my student before? Were you happy yesterday? Were you late this morning? Okay, we have here some questions. You can see it. Were you happy yesterday? Were you we late? Two questions. The first one is, were you my students before? What is the answer to that question? Were you yes, my I was. Tell me, Roxana. Yes, I was. Ah, in this case, like we are talking about the whole group. Estamos hablando de todo el grupo, ¿verdad? Eh, si se preguntara de forma individual, the answer is okay. But in this case, were you, están hablando de todos ustedes como grupo, la respuesta tendría que ser, yes, yes we, we were. Exactly, yeah. yes, we were. Yes, we were. The next one, were you happy yesterday? This is individual. Esto sí es individual. Were you happy yesterday? Yes, I was. Great, that's amazing. That's the answer. We can answer in positive or negative. In positive, yes, I was. In negative, no, I wasn't. ¿Verdad? Tenemos siempre las dos opciones para contestar nuestras preguntas. And the last one, were you late this morning? Were you late this morning? No, I was. Ah, no, I wasn't. That's good. That's good. Now, the next thing, because this is a, like a review of the topic. Este es como un eh, recordatorio, ¿verdad? Todo lo que hemos estado hablando sobre el verbo be. Estuvimos hablando, ¿verdad? De que utilizamos el was y el were, ya que es el pasado de be. Y en este caso lo estamos utilizando para preguntas y respuestas cortas. Eh, como decíamos, ¿verdad? Eh, si están preguntando, por ejemplo, en el caso de que la pregunta lleve you, cuando le hacemos la pregunta a un grupo o a una persona eh, directamente, vamos a cambiar para nuestra respuesta, ¿verdad? Si alguien me pregunta a mí, were you late this morning? Es una persona que me pregunta a mí. Para dar mi respuesta, yo le tengo que decir, no, I wasn't. Entonces, cambio el pronombre que vaya relacionado con mi respuesta. Si hablamos de un grupo en general, vamos a mencionar el pronombre que mejor le quede a ese grupo. Si alguien más está hablando de otra persona, en el caso, uh, was she late? Si a mí me preguntan si ella llegó tarde, yo tengo que decir, no, she wasn't. Ahí no me voy a poner a mí como el sujeto de la eh, respuesta, sino que voy a poner a la persona de la que se está hablando. Now, 
we are going to um, hear a conversation about neighbor in a city. But let me, uh, let me see. I guess it's the next, next one, the section three. We are going to um, learn some vocabulary. But let me see. Yes, this one. We are going to listen to this uh, conversation because we are going to talk about um, words about the city, new vocabulary, quantifiers, etc. So let's hear this one because it's almost time to end the class. In this session, you will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in town. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, any, and some. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? Okay, in this topic, we are going to learn, um, let me see, we are going to learn some words about places around town, a vocabulary about places in the town that we can find. Let's see, because it's almost time, but we are going to um, watch some of the words. So let me take you there. Here we have, we have the vocabulary that is about places around town. Let me see. Um, I have a little time. I was in the lake in Italy three years ago. It's a magic place in Christmas. The families visit the restaurants of this place and judging the Pranzo di Natale, I guess, uh, if I am wrong, correct me. This is a food of six hours. Carlos Cruz is talking about Italy. Yes? Yes. yes okay. Yes. Okay, nice. <laughs> okay, that's good. Good. Then we have the vocabulary here. We have some words like airport, bakery, bank, court, department, store, um, store, cinema, movies, service station. What we are going to do with that words? Tomorrow, we are going to um, learn how to use them. Also, we are going to learn about there is and there are. And we are going to talk about quantifiers, how many, how much. And yeah, we are going to talk about the city and give information about the places in the city. But this is the vocabulary that we are going to develop tomorrow. We are going to um, talk about them. What is the meaning in Spanish? What, um, are they located in our city, et cetera, et cetera. But that's for the class of tomorrow. Today, it's all for the class. Now it's time to say goodbye. So if you have a question or something that you want to say, we can hear right now. Si tienen algo que decir, alguna pregunta, alguna duda, pueden decirla ahorita antes de terminar lo que es la videoconferencia. No hay nada que decir. Algo que preguntar. ¿Y grosa qué es? Grocery. Green grocery. Green grocery is uh, like um, es donde venden la verdura y la fruta, la frutería o verdulería. Es donde podemos ah. comprar solo este tipo de, de, de cosas, nada de comidas o eh, granos, sino que solo verduras. Antes de despedirnos. Tell me. 
What is the meaning poop? Poop. Yes. It's like, um, it's como un bar, un restaurante donde pueden ir en, en las noches. Okay, good. And butchers? What is the meaning to butchers? Butchers. Ah, yes. it's la carnicería. Ah, carnicería, okay. Mm -hmm. And laundromat? Laundromat es donde se hace la lavandería. O sea, donde oh, se lleva la ropa a lavarla. Mm -hmm. Ok, green grocers. Es la verdulería o frutería donde podemos comprar solo frutas y verduras. Ok, teacher. Jail, prison. Prisión, cárcel. Cárcel. Mm -hmm. Ok, hey teacher. Dresser, ¿qué es, teacher? Which one? Hey, dresser. Ah, es la peluquería. La peluquería, yes. Peluquería, mm -hmm. El equivalente a un, a, un salón. a un salón. A un salón, como nosotros lo conocemos, salón de belleza, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. sí. Ok, solo necesito que eh, pedirle a, Mari, a Marilyn Giselle que si me puede enviar un mensaje, porque necesito eh, conversar con ella, así que si me puede mandar un mensaje ahorita, se lo agradecería mucho por si está ella ahorita por acá. Then, This is all for today. Eso es todo por hoy. Nos veremos el día de mañana para seguir desarrollando el vocabulario sobre places in town. Thank you okay. for coming today. Okay. Bye bye. Thanks, teacher. teacher. Bye bye. 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 Bye bye.